Holy Trinity, our God, glory to thee. Daniel was initiated into the mystery of the one Godhead, threefold light, and he saw Christ the judge going towards the Father, and the Spirit made this vision manifest. Most Holy Trinity, our God, glory to thee. Daniel was initiated into the mystery of the one Godhead, threefold light, and he saw Christ the judge going towards the Father, and the Spirit made this vision manifest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Make those who with mouths of clay sing of the God above being, three persons and one by nature, worthy of the glory of the angels, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Wooded and shady mountain that Habakkuk formerly saw, from thee the Holy One proceeded and revealed the offspring, hard to see, conceived by thee, O Virgin. <coughs> To the clad in light as in a garment, I come bright early in the morning, and I cry unto thee, and light in my darkened soul, o Christ, as thou alone art compassionate. <coughs> Most holy Trinity, our God, glory to thee. Do thou who through goodness hast created man and made him after thine image, come and dwell in me, O God, threefold light, as thou art good and compassionate. Most holy Trinity, our God, glory to thee. O unity, threefold Son, lead me towards divine paths of salvation and fill me with thy radiance as by nature thou art the all-powerful God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou undivided light of the one nature, divided into persons, threefold brightness that knows no evening, make my heart shine by thy glow, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages, amen. As in days of old, the interpreter beheld the O pure and utterly undefiled, gate looking to the light that never sets, he straightway discerned thee to be the, dwell, the dwelling place of God. Still, O Master Christ, the sea of the passions, <laughs> raging with rough water that destroys the soul, and lead me up from corruption, <laughs> as thou art compassionate. <clears throat> Most holy Trinity, our God, glory to thee. O divine sovereignty, threefold radiance. In person thou hast appeared as one, same in form, equal in operation, both after the essence and after the will. Most holy Trinity, our God, glory to thee. O divine sovereignty, threefold radiance. 
In person, thou hast appeared as one, same in form, equal in operation both after the essence and after the will. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, the prophets singing to the Father. In thy light shall we see by the Spirit, the light that is the Son disclosed, one God, threefold Son, both now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. O Master God, one and threefold light, send down by the intercessions of the Mother of God, deliverance from faults and dangers on those who praise thee. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. <clears throat> Let us glorify the brother and his threefold son. Then let us now worship the single trinity, that he may enlighten us and have mercy on the whole of mankind. Then pluck it from corruption, he who delivered the world from the error of idols, then granted us the kingdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Those deprived of all things flee to thee, the hope of all and the refuge of sinners and the lowly, crying, we have sinned, but remain in our madness unfailing riches, and mercy upon us and turn us before the end, and deliver us unworthy from every punishment. The most high Lord of our fathers, put out the flame and sprinkle the children with dew, as they sing with one accord, blessed are the Most holy Trinity, our God, glory to thee. O Lord, as thou art an abyss and boundless ocean of mercies, do thou who art compassionate have mercy upon those who sing of thee as one God of all threefold life. Most holy Trinity, our God, glory to thee. O Lord, as thou art an abyss and boundless ocean of mercies, do thou who art compassionate have mercy upon those who sing of thee as one God of all threefold life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We sing thy praises, thou incomprehensible single God, threefold light. And we cry aloud to thee, grant thy servants cleansing of their sins. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages, amen. Thou hast put forth a young shoot, as the Father without beginning, a flower of the Godhead, a co-eternal bud, who has given life to all men, O Virgin. The children in the furnace, we think a song of praise for thee, the creator of all, will say, O all ye works of the Lord, praise ye the Lord, and exalt him above all forever. Most holy Trinity, our God, glory to thee. In days of old, O oh my God, that thou mightest reveal the threefold persons of the one Godhead, thou hast appeared in human form to Abraham, who sang of the single power. Most holy Trinity, our God, glory to thee. In days of old, O oh my God, that thou mightest reveal the threefold persons of the one Godhead, thou hast appeared in human form to Abraham, who sang of thy single power. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Count me worthy to look at thy divinely working rays, O light that no man can approach, merciful Father, word and spirit, that I may ever be well pleasing to thee, O Lord of all, both now and ever and to the ages of ages, amen. O all blameless virgin whom all men sing, thou hast flashed forth for us one of the threefold shining glory, Christ the Lord who hast instructed all to sing the praises of the one divine sovereignty in three persons, to all ages. Be of good cheer, O Isaiah. The virgin out in her womb and bore a son, Emmanuel, who is both God and man, and Orient is his name. Magnifying him, we call thee blessed. 
most holy trinity our god glory to thee mortal speech has not the strength to sing of thee as his meat a one without beginning and less daring through faith we offer glory and praise to thy power O divine sovereignty, O Trinity, one throne. Most holy Trinity, our God, glory to thee. Mortal speech has not the strength to sing of thee as is me to one without beginning. Unless daring through faith we offer glory and praise to thy power. O divine sovereignty, O Trinity, one throne. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The cherubim and seraphim from undefiled mouths glorify thee with well-matched glory, one God, threefold light. With them receive us sinners who magnify thy power, O Lord. Lord, now and ever, and to the ages of ages, amen. As pure and without blemish and virgin, hast thou borne the Son who has delivered us from temptations, the changeless God. Then pray him now for us to be given remission of our offenses. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above, and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God in the union of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord 
patriarchs, Naomi, for his eminence, her metropolitan Joseph, for the venerable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. For this land, its authorities and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. For this city, for every city and countryside, and the faithful that dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. For seasonable weather, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Travelers by sea, land, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the imprisoned, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Salvation is not to be incarnate of the Holy Theodore. 
coming from the tree. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. By thy death, O Christ, thou hast destroyed the might of death, and hast raised with thyself those dead from the ages, praising thee as our true God and Savior. Blessed are they that are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. The holy women, having come to thy tomb, O Christ, sought to anoint thee, giver of life, with myrrh, and an angel appeared to them, crying aloud, The Lord is risen. Blessed are you, and men shall revile you, and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you, falsely for my sake. Thou hast been crucified, O Christ, between two condemned thieves, and one of them blaspheming thee was rightly sentenced, while the other, confessing thee, went to dwell in paradise. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. The holy women coming to the choir of the apostles lifted their voices, crying, Christ is risen. Worship ye him as master and creator. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Trinity without division, one all creating and almighty, O Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we him thee the true God and our Savior. Lord, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Rejoice, living temple of God, and passable gate, hail thrown in the form of fire that is never consumed. Rejoice, thou mother of the Emmanuel, who is Christ our God. 
Wisdom arise. Let us worship and bow down before Christ. O Son of God, who didst rise from the dead, save us who sing to thee. Alleluia. Let us, the faithful praise and adore the Lord, co eternal with the Father and the Spirit. Now and ever. 
ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. and shall preserve us from this generation and forevermore. Thou, o Lord, shall keep us and shall preserve us from this generation and forevermore. Save me, O Lord, for a righteous man there is no more. Thou, o Lord, shall keep us and shall preserve us from this generation. and shall preserve us from this generation and forevermore. With the, the reading of some the second epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Corinthians. Let us attend. Brethren, he which establishes us with you in Christ and hath anointed us is God who hath also sealed us and given us the earnest of the Spirit in our hearts. Moreover, I call to God for a record upon my soul that it was to spare you that I came not as yet unto Corinth, not that we have dominion over your faith, but are helpers of your joy, for by faith ye stand. But I determine this within myself, that I would not come again to you in heaviness. For if I make you sorry, who is then he that maketh me glad, but the same which is made sorry by me? And I wrote the same unto you, lest when I came, I should have sorrow from them of whom I ought to rejoice, having confidence in you all, that my joy is a joy of you all. For out of much affliction and anguish of heart I wrote unto you with many tears, not that ye should be grieved, but that ye might know the love which I have more abundantly unto you. Peace be unto thee, the reader, and to thy spirit, wisdom, Hallelujah. generation and generation will I declare thy truth with 
shall be built up forever. In the heavens shall thy truth be established. Alleluia. 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 Wisdom aright, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto The kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king which made a marriage for his son and sent forth his servants to call them that were bidden to the wedding, and they would not come. Again he sent forth other servants, saying, Tell them which are bidden, Behold, I have prepared my dinner. My oxen and my fatlings are killed, and all things are ready. Come unto the marriage. But they made light of it and went their ways, one to his farm, another to his merchandise. And the remnant took his servants and entreated them spitefully and slew them. But when the king heard thereof, he was wroth, and he sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burned up their city. Then saith he to his servants, The wedding is ready, but they which were bidden were not worthy. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find bid to the marriage. So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found, both bad and good. And the wedding was furnished with guests. And when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not a wedding garment. And he saith unto him, Friend, how camest thou in hither not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then said the king to the servants, Find him hand and foot, and take him away, and cast him out into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth, for many are called, but few are chosen. Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We've heard this beautiful parable once again of the wedding feast, the king inviting his guests to the wedding of his son. And uh, today we're also celebrating one of those who was invited, not with the first invitation, but with the, the latter invitation to the highways. St. Moses the Black, and he was invited, and the, when the servants went out, it says that they gathered the bad and the good, and he was one of the bad. St. Moses, a notorious criminal and a murderer, thief, uh, heard that invitation to the wedding feast, and he came. He repented of his ways and became one of our great holy fathers. And I want to share some of the words uh, that we have of his, some of his own words. When St. John Cassian and some of his fellow monks went to the desert to try to gain some profitable word from the Holy Fathers living in the desert, one of whom was Moses, 
they asked for some word from him. And he asked them a question to begin with, saying, what was the reason for which you became monks? What was your goal? And they answered, well, the goal was the kingdom of heaven. That's a good goal, the kingdom of heaven. And he says so. He says, yes, well, that's good as far as a goal goes. But what do you aim at in order to reach your goal? Because it's one thing to say you have a goal to arrive at the kingdom of heaven, but what about the direction in which you will walk to get there, the, the site you will set in order to arrive at your goal? And they have, they have no answer for him. They don't know. And he tells them that in order to reach the kingdom of heaven, we aim at a clean heart or purity of heart, sanctification. We can use this as a standard as you go about your journey towards the kingdom of heaven. Are you going the right way? Well, what is your heart? Where is your heart right now? Is it clean or is it dirty? A clean heart, he says, the standard. This standard, he says, will draw all our efforts toward the one point and will serve as a warning to us if our minds waver even a little from the proposed route. So we must keep this always in mind, he says, or else a mind without a constant sense of direction will veer hither and yon and be prey to outside influences and be endlessly the prisoner of whatever strikes it first. He gives the example of monks in the desert who gave up everything to become monks, even some of them great riches. In order to, they gave all this up in order to live in the desert, to fast, to keep vigil, to study scriptures, and yet they get upset about a fork, a needle, a pan, or other such trifles. They, lo they lost sight, these monks, they lost sight of their aim of purity of heart. And all their efforts were of little to no good without this aim. St. Moses says, it is for purity of heart that we practice the reading of scripture, together with all the other virtuous activities. And we do so to trap and to hold our hearts free of the harm of every dangerous passion and in order to rise step by step to the high point of love. It may be, he says, that some good and necessary task prevents us from achieving fully all that we set out to do, all the good intentions we have. Let us not on this account give way to sadness or anger or indignation, since it was precisely to repel these things that we would have done what, in fact, we were compelled to omit. So we set out to do some good thing, something gets in our way, and we get angry. Well, we lost sight of the aim of why we were even doing the good thing to begin with, purity of heart cleansing of our heart. He goes on, whatever gain from fasting does, whatever we gain from fasting does not compensate for what we lose through anger. Our profit from scriptural reading in no way equals the damage we cause ourselves by showing contempt for a brother. We must practice these and other good things as activities which are subordinate to our main objective, purity of heart. That is to say, love. And we must never disturb this principal virtue for the sake of those other things. If this virtue remains whole and unharmed within us, nothing can injure us not even if we are forced to omit any of these other subordinate virtues, nor will it be any use to practice all 
if we are missing this principal virtue. And lastly, I want to share with you, he says, to cling always to God and to the things of God. This must be our major effort. <clears throat> this must be the road that the heart follows unswervingly. Any diversion, however impressive, must be regarded as secondary, low grade, and certainly dangerous. So, dear children in Christ, we have been invited by the King to the wedding banquet. And we seek first this kingdom, this banquet, this kingdom which we have been invited to. And we do so by aiming at purity of heart. May God grant it. Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say, O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for His Holiness, our Patriarch Neophyte, His Eminence, our Metropolitan Joseph, and all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for this land, its authorities, and armed forces. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for our brethren, the priests, Priests, monks, and all our brethren, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable holy Orthodox patriarchs, for pious kings and right believing queens, and for the founders of this holy temple, and for our fathers and brethren gone to their rest before us, and the Orthodox here and everywhere laid to rest. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for them that bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for them that minister and them that chant, and for all the people here present that await of thee great and abundant mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. O Lord our God, accept this mercy. For a merciful God art thou, and the lover of mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Pray ye, catechumens, to the Lord. Amen. Ye the faithful, ye faithful for the catechumens, let us pray that the Lord will have mercy on them, that he will catechize them with the word of truth. That he will reveal unto them the gospel of righteousness. That he will unite them to his holy Catholic and apostolic church. Save them, have mercy on them, help them, and keep them, O God, by thy grace. Ye catechumens, bow your heads unto the Lord. O Lord our God, who dwellest on high, lookest on the things that are holy, and the human race of sinful salvation, and on the begotten Son of God, our Lord Jesus Christ, look upon thy service, the catechumens of Father Nathan. Remission of sins, the garment of incorruption, and as it is the Catholic and Apostolic Church and Emperor, the Most High Chosen God. That they also with us may glorify thy most honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. As many as are catechumens depart, catechumens depart, as many as are catechumens depart, let none of the catechumens remain. As many as are the faithful, again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help 
help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Wisdom, for unto thee is due all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Again and again, in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Wisdom, that always being guarded under thy dominion, we may send up glory unto thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages.
His Eminence, Her Metropolitan Joseph, may the Lord our God remember in His kingdom always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The Orthodox servants of God, Anna, Nashua, Sarah, the priest John, Vladimir, and all them, and all the people of Ukraine, of Russia, and those suffering violence everywhere, and of the, all the people suffering from illness and natural disaster, and the members and benefactors and council members of this holy parish, may the Lord our God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. This country, its president, and all civil authorities, may the Lord our God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. The handmaiden of God Maria on the occasion of her third anniversary of repose, and all those departed this life before us, may the Lord our God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages.
Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light to God of true God, begotten, not made of one essence with the Father by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was in Christ of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the Scriptures and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the remission of sins, I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand with fear, let us attend that we may offer the holy oblation in peace.
Metropolitan Joseph, whom do thou grant unto the holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, rightly dividing the word of thy truth. And all those living in repose to each of us calls to mind. and every Faithful. 
Merciful guide, the guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask for the Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us ask of the Lord. Good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant us, o Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant us, o Lord. A Christian ending to our life, famous, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Grant us, o Lord. Having asked for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. And vouchsafe us, O Master, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call upon thee, the heavenly God, as Father, and to say, the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and into the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. Through the grace and compassions and love for mankind of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thy most holy and good and life creating spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Let us attend. Holy things are for the holy. One is holy. One is Lord. Jesus Christ to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the heart.
O Sovereign Lord Jesus Christ, our God, source of life and immortality, who art the author of all creation, visible and invisible, the equally everlasting and co-eternal Son of the Eternal Father, who through the excess of thy goodness didst in the last days assume our flesh and was crucified for us, ungrateful and ignorant as we were, and didst cause through our own blood the restoration of our nature, which had been marred by sin, O immortal King, accept the repentance even of me a sinner, and incline thine ear to me and hear my words, for I have sinned, O Lord, I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and I am not worthy to gaze on the height of thy glory. For I have provoked thy goodness by transgressing thy commandments and not obeying thy orders. But thou, O Lord, in thy forbearance, patience, and great mercy, hast not given me up to be destroyed with my sins, but thou waitest my complete conversion. For thou, O lover of man, hast said through thy prophet that thou desirest not the death of the sinner, but that he should return to thee and live. For thou dost not will, O Lord, that the work of thy hand should be destroyed, neither dost thou delight in the destruction of men, but thou desirest that all should be saved and come to a knowledge of the truth. Therefore, though I am unworthy both of heaven and earth, and even of this transient life, since I have completely succumbed to sin and am slave to pleasure and have to face thy image, Yet, being thy work in creation, wretch that I am, even I do not despair of my salvation, and dare to draw near to thy boundless compassion. So receive even me, O Christ, lover of men, as the harlot, as the thief, as the publican, and as the prodigal, and take from me the heavy burden of my sins. Thou who takest away the sin of the world, who healest men's sicknesses, who callest the weary and heavy laden to thyself, and givest them rest. For thou camest not to call the righteous but sinners to repentance. And purify me from all defilement of flesh and spirit. Teach me to achieve perfect holiness in the fear of thee, that with the clear witness of my conscience I may receive the portion of thy holy things and be united with thy holy body and blood and have thee dwelling and remaining in me with the Father and the Holy Spirit. And, O Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not the communion of thy immaculate and life-giving mysteries be to me for condemnation, nor let it make me sick in body or soul through my partaking of them unworthily. But grant me till my last breath to receive without condemnation the portion of thy holy things for communion with the Holy Spirit as a provision for eternal life and as an acceptable defense at thy dread tribunal, so that I too with all the elect may become a partaker of thy pure joys, which thou hast prepared for those who love thee, O Lord, in whom thou art glorified throughout the ages. Amen. O Lord my God, I know that I am not worthy or sufficient that thou shouldest come under the roof of the house of my soul, for all is desolate and fallen, and thou hast not with me a place fit to lay thy head, but as from the highest heaven thou dost humble thyself for our sake. So now conform thyself to my humility, and as thou dost consent to lie in a cave and in a manger of dumb beasts, so consent also to lie in a manger of my spiritual soul, and to enter my defiled body. And as thou dost not disdain to enter and dine with sinners in the house of Thymon the leper, so consent to enter the house of my humble soul, which is leprous and sinful. And as thou dost not reject the woman who was a harlot and a sinner like me, when she approached and touched thee, so also be compassionate with me, a sinner, as I approach and touch thee. And let the life cold thy most holy body and precious blood be for the sanctification and enlightenment and strengthening of my humble soul and body, for a relief from the burden of my many sins, for protection from all diabolical practices, for restraint and a check on my evil and wicked way of life. For the mortification of passions, for the keeping of thy commandments, for an increase of thy divine grace, and for the advancement of thy kingdom. For it is not insolently that I draw near to thee, O Christ my God, but is taking courage from thy unspeakable goodness, and that I may not by long abstaining from thy communion become a prey to the spiritual wolf. Therefore I pray thee, O Lord, who alone art holy, 
Sanctify my soul and body, my mind and heart, my emotions and affections, and wholly renew me. Root the fear of thee in my members and make thy sanctification indelible in me. Be also my helper and defender, guide my life in peace, and make me worthy to stand on thy right hand with thy saints through the prayers and intercessions of thy Immaculate Mother, of thy ministering angels, of the Immaculate Powers, and of all the saints who have ever been pleasing to thee. Amen. O only pure and sinless Lord, who through the ineffable compassion of thy love for men, didst assume our whole nature through the pure and virgin blood of her who supernaturally conceived thee, by the coming of the divine spirit and by the will of the eternal Father. O Christ Jesus, wisdom and peace and power of God, when thy assumption of our nature did suffer thy life-giving and saving passion, the cross, the nails, the spear, and death, mortify all the deadly passions of my body. Thou, when thy burial despoil the dominions of hell, bury with good thoughts my evil schemes, and scatter the spirits of wickedness. Thou, who by thy life-giving resurrection on the third day didst raise up our fallen first parent, raise me up who am sunk in sin and suggest to me ways of repentance. Thou who by thy glorious ascension didst deify our nature which thou hast assumed, and didst honor it by thy session at the right hand of the Father, make me worthy by partaking of thy holy mysteries of a place at thy right hand among those who are saved. Thou who by the descent of the Spirit, the paraclete, didst make thy holy disciples worthy vessels, make me also a recipient of his coming. Thou who art to come again to judge the world with justice, Grant me also to meet thee on the clouds, my maker and creator, with all thy saints. Amen. <clears throat> with the fear of God, with faith and love, draw nigh.
Generation and generation shall praise thy works, and thy power shall they declare. Thou openest thy hand, and fillest every living thing with thy favor. Of the majesty of the glory of thy holiness shall they speak, and they shall tell of thy wonders. And the power of thine awesome deeds shall they relate, and they shall tell of thy majesty. Thy people and bless thine inheritance. We have seen the light of life. We have received the Holy Spirit. We have found the true faith, worshiping the undivided Trinity. Blessed Always, now and ever. To the ages of ages. Amen. Let our mouths be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that we may sing. 
and love for mankind, always, now, and ever, and into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ, God, our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Father, Christ, our true God, who rose from the dead, through the intercessions of his most pure mother, as temple this is, of the holy, glorious, and all honorable apostles, of our Father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, and of our holy Father Moses, the black of Sikis, and the holy Job of the giant, 
the holy righteous, Anna, the prophetess, the righteous Hezekiah, king of Judah, the martyr queen Susanna of Georgia, and all the saints of the key of cave whose relics repose in the far cave of St. Theodosius, St. Amphilochius, the bishop of Vladimir, St. Theodore, the prince of Ostrogon, St. Sabas, abbot of Kripets, Knutsko, the new hieromartyr Ars, Hieromartyr Archimandrite, Sergius, and monk martyrs, Lawrence, Seraphim, Theodosius, Leontius, Stephen, George, Lorraine, John, Sergius, of Zelenthal, Monastery of Kazan, the new Hieromartyr, Sansa, Metropolitan of Smyrna, and the 30 true martyrs of Nicomedia, whose memory we celebrate this day, and of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, free as good, and the lover of mankind. Amen. Through the prayers of holy fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. especially to our guests who we have with us today. Uh, we'll have coffee hour after the dismissal here, and after coffee hour there will be Bible study in the parlor, or the lamp post? The lamp post uh, with Subdeacon Randy uh, studying the book of Revelation. And this evening we will have vigil at 6 o'clock for the beheading of St. John the Forerunner. And tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Divine Liturgy for this feast of the church. And Wednesday, as usual, our 6 p.m. Vespers, followed by Orthodoxy 101, Unseen Warfare. <laughs> and a number of other things coming up on the calendar. You can have them on your bulletin here and uh, on the website online. Um, that's it. Short announcements today. Uh, any birthdays or name days to celebrate? Natalia, the name day. Natalia, yes, Friday, wasn't it? And we had a Moses amongst us, but he, he disappeared. So maybe he had to leave early. But uh, Natalia's had a name day. And anybody else's birthdays? St. Moses the Black Fellowship. Their feast day is, of course, today with St. Moses. And so we'll see many years. Okay. Grant, O Lord, a prosperous and peaceful life, health, salvation, furtherance, and all good things to the handmaiden of God, Natalia, and to all the members of the Fellowship of St. Moses the Black. Grant them, O Lord, many years. God grant you many years. God grant you many years. God grant you many, many years. Please come forward to venerate the cross, receive the blessed bread, and join us in the hall for the meal. Yeah. 
thank thee, O Lord my God, that thou hast not rejected me as sinner, but has granted me to be a communicant of thy holy things. I thank thee that thou hast granted me, unworthy as I am, to partake of thy pure and heavenly gifts. For the Lord, lover of men, who didst die for us and rise again, and bestow upon us these thy dread and life-giving mysteries, for the well-being and sanctification of our souls and bodies, grant that these may be even to me for the healing of my soul and body, for the averting of everything hostile, for the enlightenment of the eyes of my heart, for the peace of the powers of my soul, for unashamed faith, for sincere love, for the fullness of wisdom, for the keeping of thy commandments, for an increase of thy divine grace, and for familiarity with thy kingdom, that being kept by them in thy holiness, I may ever remember thy grace and never live for myself, but for thee, our Lord and benefactor. And so, when I have passed from existence here in the hope of eternal life, may I attain to everlasting rest, where the song is unceasing. Those who keep thus to all in the joyous boundless of those who behold the ineffable beauty of thy queens. For thou art the true desire and the unutterable gladness of those who love thee, O Christ our God. And all creation sings of thee throughout the ages. Lord Christ our God, King of the ages and creator of all, I thank thee for all the blessings thou hast granted me and for the communion of thy pure and life-giving mysteries. I pray thee therefore, good Lord and lover of men, guard me under thy protection and within the shadow of thy wings, and grant me with a clear conscience till my last breath worthily to partake of thy holy things for forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. For thou art the bread of life, the source of holiness, the giver of all that is good. And to thee we send up the glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. O thou who givest me willingly thy flesh for food, thou who art fire and burnest the unworthy, scorch me not, O my Maker, but rather pass through me for the integration of my members into all my joints, my affections, and my heart. Burn up the thorns of all my sins, purify my soul, sanctify my mind, strengthen my knees and bones, enlighten the simplicity of my five senses. Nail down the whole of me with thy fear. Ever protect, guard, and keep me from every soul-destroying word and act. Sanctify, purify, attune, and rule me. Adorn me, give me understanding, and enlighten me. Make me the habitation of thy spirit alone, no longer a habitation of sin, that as thy house from the entry of communion, every evil spirit and passion may flee from me like fire. I offer thee as intercessors, all the sanctified, the commanders of the bodiless hosts, thy forerunner, the wise apostles, and thy pure and immaculate mother. Receive their prayers, my compassionate Christ, and make thy slave a child of light. For thou alone art our sanctification, O good one, and the radiance of our souls. And to thee as our Lord and God, as is right, we all give glory day and night. May thy holy body, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, be to me for eternal life, and thy precious blood for forgiveness of sins. And may this Eucharist be to me for joy, health, and gladness. And in thy awful second coming, make me a sinner, worthy to stand on the right hand of thy glory, through the intercessions of thy holy and most pure mother, and of all thy saints, amen. All Holy Lady, Mother of God, the light of my darkened soul, my hope and protection, my refuge and consolation, and my joy, I thank thee that thou hast made me women worthy, worthy to be a communicant of the immaculate body and precious blood of thy Son. But do thou who didst bear the true light enlighten the spiritual eyes of my heart, O thou who didst conceive the source of immortality, Give life to me who am dead in sin. O thou who art the compassionately loving mother of the merciful God, have mercy on me and give me compunction and contrition of heart, humility in my thoughts and the recall of my reasoning powers from their captivity. And grant me till my last breath to receive without condemnation the sanctification of the holy mysteries for the healing of soul and body. And give me tears of repentance and confession and of thanksgiving that I may praise and glorify thee all the days of my life. For thou art blessed and glorified forever. Amen. Now let us thou thy servant depart in peace, O Lord, according to thy word, for mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared in the sight of all peoples, the light of revelation for the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. 
Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of the ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blot out our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of the ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Grace, like a flame shining forth from thy mouth, has illumined the universe and disclosed to the world treasures of poverty, and shown us the height of humility. And as by thine own words thou teachest us, Father John Chrysostom, so intercede with the word, Christ our God, to save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou hast received divine grace from heaven, and with thy lips dost thou teach all men to adore the one God in three persons. O John Chrysostom, most blessed saint, we rightly praise thee, for thou art our teacher, revealing divine things, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O unfailing intercessor of Christians, O constant mediatress before the Creator, despise not the cry of prayer of us sinners, but of thy goodness come speedily to the help of us who in faith call upon thee. Hasten to offer swift intercession and prayer for us. O Mother of God, whoever intercedes for those who honor thee. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. Thou who in virginity didst bear God the word, the very Theotokos thee do we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, the Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen.